All right, I made it in without getting shot by any bow hunters. That's always a good thing. <laughs> All right, so back at the fault zone. This is where I dug out last time. Not up there. I didn't dig up there. I dug out the whole side of that. No, I didn't. <laughs> Over in here, I cleaned it out with a suction hand dredge. All this area in here. Now, I'm not sure if I want to go up in here or if I want to see because I can't remember exactly how far I came over I cleaned out some over in there I didn't clean that out with the suction hand dredge only down to here but maybe in here do some I, I don't know but I've got to stick my hands in the nice warm refreshing water and build up a little bit of a wing dam and get my setup so I can put the three foot riverbed hog in. So whenever I decide what I'm doing, I'll let you know. Well, I got my setup. The days of iced coffee, we're gone. Hot coffee now, and that keeps it nice and warm uh, all day long. Bubba. All right, so I'm gonna go up here and dig. I'll show you what I'm gonna do in a minute. Here. And I checked my battery before I left the house, and it was full. Apparently, it wasn't full enough. I've got one bar, so I'm gonna be shooting very minimal today. So we're in line right here. I cleaned out a bunch of big rocks. I'm going to work in this area right here and see what I can come up with. Maybe move some of those big rocks if I can and work over there. So I'll let you know what's going on. What I can shoot. Very little battery. Alright, so I haven't been digging very long at all. I had to add more rocks to my dam to get better flow. And I raised the back end up a bit. But I chose a good spot. Because there's already a nice flake of gold showing in there. There, right there. Nice. Alright, catch you in a bit. Suction hand dredge, bucket number four, and the last one. I'll get back to you when I when I do the clean out. I don't know how much battery's left. Well, once again, I filled that deep V bedrock area with tailings. <laughs> Couple nice chunky pieces in there. And this is what I ended up doing. Remember what it looks like from the beginning of the video. You see my black sand down in there? I panned it right back in because I'm coming back here. So if I lost anything, which I doubt I did, it's right there. So I see now that the hole is cleared out, it was really. You can still see right down in there, right down in that spot, there's still murky water. I plucked, I don't know, there's a big piece I pulled out of there. It broke right out, but I see more now that the water's cleared up quite a bit. I see more that can be broken. That piece will come off. Some of those pieces will come out. Pieces in there will come out. And I've still got to work it further that way. 
So I am coming back. This week it's supposed to be fairly decent some days. So I'm going to go ahead and force myself to take some time off and come back and do some more. So that's it for today. Run another daylight quickly. Hopefully the uh, dam doesn't get blown out again. All right. Thank you everybody for watching. All of you part of the Green Mountain Gold Trap family, subscribers. Don't forget to uh, like, share, comment. Click the bell for notifications and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.